Hello everyone, my name is Shiny, and today I will be covering the final part for update 31, which revolves around our lawyer sorcerer, Higuruma Hiromi. So, let me get the context out first. This is the Minecraft Jujutsu Craft mod made by this developer known as Orca. And if you want to play this mod yourself, I have put the download links in the description of this video. Also, if you are interested in the other parts of Update 31, whether it be Okutsuyuta or Mahoraga, I have already made videos about them, so you can go check them out. Anyway, let's get our attention back to Higuruma. Just like any other character inside this mod, the way you get his curse technique is by using the curse technique changer book, which you get when you spawn into the world or when you break like those white boxes around the world. You know, there's a low chance you get this book. And once we right click it, Higuruma has now been added as an option in the right side of the corner right here, below Ghetto and above Ishigori. So yeah, once you select him, you get his curse technique. Inside this mod, Higuruma has two moves, which is the gavel, which is that little hammer that judges use in the quarter room, and his domain expansion, deadly sentencing. So in a way, you can also say that he technically doesn't have any Christic League moves, you know, just his domain expansion and this move that summons the gavel, which is this item right here. As you can see, the cost is zero, so the only time we're gonna be using gavel is when you lost your previous gavel, you know, some accident happened. I don't, I don't know, it's like, you know, something gone wrong. You can just press it, and then you get a new gavel. Yeah, maybe you can just keep reusing this move, and then make a business where you just sell a bunch of gavels. <laughs> who knows, you know, who knows? Okay, so let's go through this gavel now. This gavel has three forms inside this mod, so we are using this normal one right now, you know, the average size for a gavel. And if you press right click, it becomes this longer gavel. Based on what Orca said, we can call it a whip form, because, you know, it functions like a whip. And if you right click it again, it becomes this gigantic hammer. Let's just call this the big hammer mode so it's easy for us to distinguish between the three. So we got normal, whip, and big hammer, all right? So we got these three forms. So I've done some testing with three different variations, right? And I found out some interesting stuff, so let me tell you guys. So beginning off with the gavel, you know, it, we just simply use it to attack like a single entity like this. Of course, if you charge it, you do slightly bigger damage just like that. And then barrage attack, you can also hit them. And then also for the range, right? For the normal gavel, it's one, two, three, four, five, six blocks is the reach that you can uh, uh, attack. There you go. Six blocks, we reach. Seven blocks, we don't reach. And you might be like, oh, surely the whip form would reach it, right? Because just, just look at it. It's so much longer. It, it, it doesn't. In fact, six blocks right, it, it doesn't reach. Somehow, this gavel <laughs> has a longer reach than the whip form. How does that make sense, Orca? What was going on? So, uh, you know, I'm not too sure why that is the case. I was like thinking, right? Then what is the whip form like even used for? So I found that the hit range is longer horizontally. So yeah, normal gavel is actually better for vertical attacks. No, vertical attacks? No, I mean, I guess long range attacks while whip form is when your opponents are like lined up so right here you guys can see that i'm only hitting whoever's in front of me right now you see that yeah only in front of me but if we use this long form gavel we hit all three of them just like that so we go back to normal attack as you can see nothing whip form hits all three so yeah, that's the difference between this whip form and the normal form and then the big hammer mode. So this one, I'd say, is just simply the best. You know, if you're using Higuruma and you need to, like, fight super seriously, just always use the big hammer. Why? Because the reach... It's the same as whip form, but... Look at the damage, remember? 89. 89 damage. Normal one, 85. Whip form... 81. Big one, reaches also 89. It's just, it's just so much better. <laughs> like, actually. Big hammer is, is like, the greatest gavel form you can have in this mod and if you do barrage attack look at this crazy boy dude we hit four times on each of our opponents and the last hit was 81 wow also whenever you are using the big hammer mode you have this new attack called the overhead attack which you know you just make this grand slam on the ground boom 271 damage that is actually crazy. You hit this four times, and that's almost equal to, like, what? Tsukumo's shoot and Uzumaki. Hold up purple, I don't... Um, maybe, like, six times you have to hit. So, yeah, 200... Uh, uh, only 181. And if we do normal, 152 damage. Even that is still pretty strong, I say, you know? So, 
Yeah, this big hammer mode, it, go, it goes crazy, bro. Before we move into domain expansion, let me show you guys another new feature that has been added to this mod, which is domain amplification. So as of update 31, this is still a work in progress. So it's still quite glitchy, I'd say, but you know, it is usable. It's usable, but it's just that it's not as efficient as you would like it to be. And from my knowledge, Orca didn't mention any way you can get this. So I expect it to be creative mode only, but maybe some people might get it for, you know, that white boxes again. So once you get this item, all you have to do is right click and then you get it in the chat. I already have it, so I can't use it. But yeah, once you have that enabled, there's a default keybind, which should be N. And then you can enable domain amplification true and false. And for those who don't exactly know what amplification is, it's basically when a sorcerer wraps around his domain all over his body and then neutralizes Chris technique, which means we cannot use our own Chris technique, but we can also hit through people's Chris technique and other people's Chris technique does less damage to you. If you have domain amplification enabled, we can actually hit Gojo. Yep. So let me show you guys right here using student Gojo, which I'm going to fight later again to showcase something else. Uh, actually, no, let me disable it first. So you guys see it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure everyone is used to this. You cannot physically hurt this guy. He has infinity on. But if you have amplification enabled, if we keep hitting him, eventually we can break through it. So yeah, this is what I mean by amplification being glitchy right now. The detection system is very glitchy right now. So sometimes it hits, sometimes it doesn't. So hopefully in the future it gets better, but yeah, at least I guess it's better than nothing. Eat it. Come on, hit, hit, hit. Ah, please, please, please hit. Please, amplification. Oi, amplification, do your job. Re let's re-enable it. Okay, okay. Oh, there we go. Finally, we can hit. Huh. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. That's enough of showcase. Okay, so you guys, you guys see what I mean by, you know, amplification being very glitchy right now. But in the future, when it becomes really smooth, we should be able to hit for infinity much, much better. So let's wait until then. Okay. So yeah, that was domain amplification. Next, finally, let's move on to Higuruma's main feature, which is his domain deadly sentencing. Chubukushishi. So what this domain does is it works very different from everyone else's domain because his domain is more of a classical domain where it's not sure hit, sure kill, but instead everyone inside your domain has to play by a rules kind of domain. So first let's try summoning it so you guys can see how it looks like. Tenkai Chubukushishi. Here we go. This is the design. We also have our Shikigami Judge Man who you know is always behind us like that holding the balance. And then we have the guillotines that are everywhere around the domain. And if we spawn in a villager here, we will now be face to face in a courtroom. While this domain is active, including yourself, no one can use any Chris techniques nor physical attacks. Also, there's no limit in how many mobs can be inside your domain. So technically, if you really want to, you can have 100 Tsukunas inside your domain. To begin the judgment of your opponent, all you have to do is select the move and then use it. And now we see the text popping up, guilty for feature. And okay, he got away with for feature, which inside this mod means they will lose their Chris technique for 5 minutes and get weakness 3. But you know what? Death penalty. Yep. I just remember the amount of times it got scammed by villagers, dude. 40 emeralds for 2 stone <laughs> And also, you guys just saw, you know, how a text popped up, guilty, and then for feature. After that, there's also another text called death penalty, which I'm going to showcase later as well, you know, when we fight Sukuna. And then now, I'm going to quickly refight student Gojo so I can show you guys exactly what for feature actually does to your opponent, or, you know, if Higuruma does it to you. Okay, over here. Let's respawn Gojo Satoru. We're gonna enable amplification again with... Hit him once, and then now he's targeting us. 
領域展開、中部獅子。And then he's gonna have simple domains, so run, 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 run until it runs out. Okay, whew, there we go. So now we are in this courtroom. So you all know how Gojo uses his blue, red, and then, you know, eventually purple against you. And he also has infinity. But if he u s e this judgment, you know, deadly sentencing, and if he has been found for feature, he loses his limitless for five minutes. And you know, if you're the player, you also lose your, you know, whatever your cruise technique is for five minutes. So while this is happening, we can actually beat up Gojo Satoru without. You shall.、Uh, without domain amplification on, just like that. So let's charge our attacks. You also get weakness 3 whenever you, know, you get confiscated for feature. So his melee damage is also very weak towards us right now. Okay, that's not, that's, that wasn't as weak as I expected. There we go. Overhead attack. And then move around. Hit him again. Let's charge our overhead attack. Boom! So let's just keep on hitting him. Oh, this, this feels amazing. So, yeah, I think Higuruma can actually become one of the best characters inside this mod. Just from the fact that you can actually beat、uh, Student Gojo. Why I'm not fighting the real Gojo is because Unlimited Void is going to destroy my domain, and I'm gonna lose the fight like that. <laughs> so, yeah, that's why I'm fighting Student Gojo, who doesn't have a domain expansion yet. So, the same thing actually goes with Sukuna. If he uses his Malavrin Shrine against you,、uh, you're pretty much doomed. So, make sure he has already exhausted his domain before you start fighting him. Okay, this guy this guy is actually so tough. I mean, it's expected. Oh! Okay, his. It's back, it's back, it's back. Ryoiki Tenkai, Chubuk Shishi. We can just rinse and repeat, just like this. Let's survive. Don't hit me! Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me! What? 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 You can. Hey, I thought there was no violence! I thought there was no violence inside my domain, bro! What? 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 Eh? Well then. Well then, that's, that's not according to plan. We have to run around until our、um, domain recovers and then we have to use it again. Dude. Gojo, you, you just broke the rule inside our domain. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Where is he? Where is he? Do we think I? Do we think I? Do we think I? Okay, 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 okay. Run, run, run. Don't, don't, don't you dare use purple again, bro. That, that is not illegal. Okay. That reminded me. So, anyone who is inside your domain, including yourself, you cannot use physical attacks either. No one can use their cruise techniques, no one can use their physical attacks. How did Goji use his whole purple? I have no idea. It's, 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 he shouldn't be able to. Okay, let's remove his limitless once again. Oh. Okay, and make it the big hammer mode. And then let's try to just end him off right here. There we go. Oh, oh, what a beast, bro! Gojo! My goodness! <laughs>、oh. Okay, so yeah, that, that was fighting against Gojo Satoru. For feature, you can't use your curse technique for five minutes, and you get weakness three for five minutes. That's what for feature is. Let's move on to death penalty. So, next, we're gonna use the domain expansion against Itadori Yuji right here, who has Sukuna inside of him. So, as long as we roll his you know, Shibuya incident, we are probably gonna get death penalty. Let's try it out. Judgment, guilty, boshu, shoke, death penalty. Hey, wait, where are we? So, once you get death penalty, you get this executioner's sword. Take a look. Which looks dope, doesn't it? Look at that beauty. Very skinny, though. And then, once you have this weapon, you can basically one shot anyone with it. But. If your opponent is like using attack and then like parries your attack, they can actually survive the hit. You have to make sure you land a clean hit on your opponent in order to one hit KO them. In terms of Itadori Yuji, we're not gonna kill him because, you know, feels bad. Higuruma, his soul has been recovered once talking with Itadori Yuji. So let's actually use this one hit executioner's sword against Heian Sukuna. This is gonna be a long fight. So, 100%, we're probably gonna die 2 3 times because we're gonna lose a domain clash. 
But we're gonna keep on respawning until the eventual day where we can actually trap Heian Sukuna inside our domain. So let's begin the fight first. Look! It's over, it's over, it's over, it's over. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Ah, oh no, oh no. Hey, wait, 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 wait. We can talk about it. We can talk about it. Sukuna! Suga! Why am I- I forgot. Why am I back here? Why am I back here? I forgot. I completely forgot. Respawning. Respawning there is not- uh, I think he used World Slash. I'm lagging. Uh, 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 uh. Alright, we're back. We might be back, but I don't know where. Hey, I'm- <gasps> There he is. Oh, uh, bro- Bro is in an onsen, dude. He's chilling. No way. Can we actually use our deadly sentencing already? <gasps> we did it! Okay, 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 okay. Judgment. Okay. Boshu. Death penalty, shoke. So, the thing about Sukuna, right? Ah! Is, even if you get death penalty, all he does is he he gets his um weapon. The Supreme Martial Solution and Hiten uh, confiscated. But he can still use his technique itself. Okay, while I'm explaining, this guy might actually kill me, so. What? Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, we missed! Hit him! Hit him! No! No, no, no! Help, help! Itadori! Everyone! No, 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 don't use World Slash! We are back. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, 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 no never mind, no waiting, no waiting, no waiting. I hate this. I hate this, dude. I hate this. How did we not hit him when we when we could have hit him? Ah, it's over again. It's over again. Wait, wait, wait. We can talk. This this is just loving hell, isn't it? Yo, Sukuna, Sukuna, Sukuna. I think he's just. He, does he use his wolf flash? I don't even know. I don't even know. Ah, 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 ah. Okay. No. Hey, we're back. I don't want to be back though. I don't want to be back. That's the thing. Not yet. My simple domain dies in like three seconds. Please, please don't hit me. Please. Please, just let it- <laughs> Did his domain die? Okay, finally. Alright, round hashtag- Dude, he's- he's taking- Why is he looking at my dead body like that? Ryoik Tenkai, for like, I don't know how many times did we do this now? Ring around the rosy, please don't hit me, Mr. Sukuna. Okay! We're back, we're back, we have another chance. Where- where's our gavel? Usodaro. Oh, wait, what? Judgment without the gavel? Uh, that, that, well, that feels kind of awkward. Executioner's sword! Boom! Huh? Why are you lying? Sir? 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 Huh! Oh, eh? That was... I, I don't know, man. I should be like celebrating right now, but he died like so casually. <laughs> but you, you guys, you guys see, you know, as long as you're Higuruma, if you are super persistent, I mean, technically with any character, if you're persistent, it, it works. But uh, okay, let's say you have like you know you're cooperating with your friends, you can probably one shot uh, Sukuna if you plan it really well, and you know Higuruma lances domain expansion the first time. So yeah. Higuruma, very crazy. Executioner's sword. Oh, I need to showcase you guys one more thing. So one more thing about Executioner's sword is this comes back to domain amplification, but if you have amplification enabled, your Executioner's sword doesn't work. So make sure you disable it if you want to, you know, actually one-shot your opponent. And another thing, if you pass your Executioner's sword and someone else picks up, you know, you know like your teammate, he can actually, you know, use it as well, just like how Itadori. Orca said there's a chance we can cheese Hei and Sukuna if we have two players, one being Higuruma and one being physically gifted. So let's try that out. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, uh, no, never mind, never mind. I don't need to do judgment. Okay, Maki! Maki! Kill Sukuna! Uh, um, Maki? Okay. Nice, nice. Nice, 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 nice. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice, nice. nice. I think this barrage attack spam. Nice, 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 nice. Nice, you got this, you got this, you got this. Let's go, let's go. My domain power, my curse power is like slowly getting drained. Ah, 
I don't know when my domain's gonna end. This is this is scary. This is like a countdown, dude. This is a countdown before we die. <laughs> Let's go, Maki. Oh, he's so tough. He is so tough. Maki? Huh? Maki? Where, where'd you go? Ma ma ah? eh? He 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 opened his domain. Ah, he world slash! So that was it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. You know, I hope this video helped out for those who are not exactly sure how Higuruma worked. And yeah, if there's any other suggestion you guys have, please let me know in the comments. One I heard a lot is, you know, maybe, maybe it's time for me to re-showcase Heian Sukuna. We'll see about that. I would like to do some man hunts, but you know, gathering people's schedule has been kind of tough lately. But again, you know, it's always behind my mind, you know, whenever I can, I'll, I'll try to do it. All right, once again, thank you all for watching until the very end. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Goodbye!